are you pregnant and you are thinking about oh 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 how do i know labor is about to start how do i know that i'll deliver soon what are the signs and symptoms should i expect that will make me to go to the hospital so if you are in that shoe this video is for you and also if you are a student midwife a student nurse it's this is an added knowledge for you to be able to educate your clients or to be able to educate your patients good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is Miss mary popularly known as a nurse with the difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today we're going to be talking about the signs and symptoms that labor is knocking the sign that labor is knocking at the door that you should get prepared that you should get prepared to go to the hospital that you should get prepared to call your doctor or your midwife but before we go into details into this class if you are new on our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out for all our returning subscribers this is not mess mary saying thank you let's go there all right welcome back like i earlier said today i'm going to be sharing with you the signs and symptoms is it the signs and symptoms or the signs that baby is coming that labor is knocking at the door that you should get prepared to see your prince charming or your princess of africa or your princess of london or your princess of the united states so i'm going to be sharing with you the sign that you should take note of but before i go into the signs that you should take note of if you are pregnant and you are having vagina bleeding please and please don't make useful assumption see your doctor if you are pregnant and you are planning okay the baby will soon come and your water breaks the water can break anytime when you notice this particular water break like you feel this gush of water from the vagina please consult your midwife consult your gp don't say it's not yet time and it's just normal nothing is normal see your doctor let them confirm that nothing happened it's better off so if you notice your water breaks if you notice you're having vaginal bleeding if you notice less movement of your baby please see your gp or please consult your doctor as soon as you can because when there's less movement in the in your baby in your tummy that is a problem that could be a problem that could be that your baby is going to fetal distress that could be your baby is not receiving enough energy it could mean a lot of things so the best thing consult your doctor Con let your midwife go and see them go to the assessment unit and get things sorted out then if you are less than 37 weeks and you feel you are having signs of contraction signs that baby is coming out please see your midwife don't say it's not yet 38 weeks it's not yet 39 weeks it's not possible that i might be having contraction please and please pack a property and see your midwife so they help you out and let you know what is wrong so if you're having these signs vaginal bleeding water breaks less fetal movement and also signs of contraction even when you are not up to 37 weeks it's advisable you see your midwife or doctor as soon as possible so now let's go back to the topic which is the signs and symptoms that my baby is knocking at the door so the first one that is common is the show mucus yeah show like name implies it's show it's show it's showing that oh something is about to show up something is about to come get ready so what is this show what is this mucus this show this show mucus per se is present it protects the baby from bacterial infection it protects infection from getting to the cervix it's like a protection it's like a doll they are like soldiers protecting your baby they are like soldier protecting your cervix so that infection will not get to your baby so when there is a release of the show when the show goes out it's simply saying the cervix is dilating it simply says the baby is coming get ready so this show is a sign that labor has started or labor is about to start it's a sign that the cervix has to start dilating or the cervix has started dilating so you may want to ask how does the show look like the show looks like a sticky jelly-like pink mucus it is sticky for those that know the ovulation how sticky ovulation is so it is a sticky jelly-like mucus you can see the screen you can see the picture on the screen that is what a show looks like so if you see this show it's a sign that 
baby is coming. So it's a sign for you to be checking, oh, have I packed my baby things? Are they complete? What and what is not prepared yet? It's a sign for you to get everything ready because contractions are about to hit you back to back. And I want you to know something. Some people see this shoe and after two, three days before they put to bed, why some people, after seeing this shoe, they will have to spend one week before they put to bed. So everybody's body system is different but if you are worried after seeing this show it's advisable you see what you see your doctor or GP don't assume everything is normal like I always say so when you notice anything abnormal you're not comfortable with some particular things that is happening it's advisable you contact your GP your midwife or your doctor immediately so take note of show they are jelly like um, mucus they are jelly like pink mucus they are pinkish because of there's a blood around the mucus the blood coming out too so take note of this shoe that could be a sign that labor is knocking at the door then another sign that labor is knocking at the door if when your water breaks yes when your water breaks a lot of people expect water to just rush like rain is falling water breaks no just be so observant but when you feel this gush of fluid or water from your vagina that could be a sign that your water has break and when that water breaks pack your property pack everything and go straight to the hospital don't wait when your water breaks pack everything for your baby and go straight to the hospital because when your water break is advisable that if contraction has not started within 24 hours that they should induce you to bring the baby out or else the baby could be prone to further infection so when you notice your water has broken carry your property and go straight to the hospital then also back ache like pains at the back like mine was pains at the back i was having severe pains that i could not really get down so pains at the back back ache like severe back ache they could be a sign that okay you should take your property to the hospital so if you have taken paracetamol you've taken some painkillers and it's still not going please and please see a doctor that could be a sign that the baby is already on the way and the baby is coming to meet you the baby is coming to surprise you the baby is coming to show you how much she loves you how much he loves you so that could be a sign the back ache is a sign then another sign that oh the baby is here is coming soon is contraction contraction you feel this tightness in your abdomen i am not saying braxton hicks contraction i'm going to be making a video on the difference between braxton hicks contraction and the labor contraction soon so it's not braxton hicks contraction when you are having frequent contraction that could be a sign of labor that is a sign of labor not could be it's a sign that labor has started contraction is the tightening of the uterus because that tightening of the uterus help you help the baby to push down help you to push the baby out when the uterus is tight and you push and you push and you push at the right time will not push him inside you out when you push and push the baby is going to come out so most times when it comes to contraction the advice uh, if it's not serious you stay back at home first you stay at home first when the contractions is not strong but when the contractions become longer the duration is longer they become stronger and they become more frequent they occur every time every five minutes every five minutes you're having contraction and it lasts for 60 minutes 60 seconds i mean not 60 minutes 60 seconds if the contraction lasts for 60 seconds it happens every five minutes then you should run down to the hospital don't even wait again so as the contraction becomes stronger it becomes longer it becomes more frequent it's a sign that the baby is about to come down so these are the signs that pregnancy is about to come to an end these are the signs that your third trimester is about to come to an end and the various signs are the bloody show um water breakage the back ache and also frequent contractions so these are the signs i would like to share with you today and i hope it helps you understand what you should take note of when it comes to expecting your baby thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all our returning subscribers this is not smith mary saying 
Thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.